Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. If you still don't use the time machine feature on your Mac, you are making a huge mistake. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to set up and use time machine backups on your MacBook. After watching this video, you will know everything about the time machine backups on the macOS. I will give you my advice about what type of external drive is better to use with a time machine and finally I will share with you my own system that I use on my Mac to fully protect my data and always have multiple copies of my MacBook data and system even if my house will burn or my external drive will be stolen. Using Time Machine Backup on your Mac is highly recommended. You see, the lifetime of every internal SSD is limited, and you never know when it will fail. Even a new MacBook can randomly have issues with its SSD drive. Actually, Time Machine already saved me several times. I'm using this feature for a lot of years now, and I really do find it useful. You don't need this feature until the day your MacBook internal SSD will be dead. If you want to protect your data, this video is made for you. But before starting the actual video, I just want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos. I will really appreciate your support. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So what is Time Machine for macOS? Time Machine is a built-in, free backup solution for all Mac computers. Time Machine automatically backups all your files, including apps, music, photos, emails, documents and settings, by creating a full exact copy of your Mac on external hard drive. It allows users to restore their entire system or individual files to a previous state in case of data loss, SSD corruption, accidental damage or computer loss. So how does it work? The way Time Machine works is pretty genius. First, it makes a full backup of your macOS system. Then, every time it will be doing a new backup, it will be adding only new files and changes. With Time Machine, you will be able to find the exact same copy of your Mac from like 6 months before. Time Machine works like a magic, you can travel in time and find your deleted files and apps. Time Machine also allows you to keep multiple backup copies of your Mac on an external drive. It means your data is always available even if you will lose your computer. The only thing you need to have is an external drive to be able to make a copy of your data and system. Here's how to set up and use Time Machine on your Mac. Connect an external hard drive to your Mac. The capacity of your external drive should be at least equal to your internal SSD size. It can be an SSD or an old style hard drive, it doesn't matter. Once connected, a message should appear asking if you want to use the drive for Time Machine backups. Click Use as Backup Disk. If the message doesn't appear, you can manually select your external hard drive by going to System Preferences Time Machine. Click the Select Disk button and choose your external hard drive. You can also choose whether to encrypt your backup disk or not. This will require a password to access the backup. I highly recommend using a password. Once you've selected your backup disk and encryption settings, Time Machine will begin backing up your data automatically. All you have to do is to connect regularly your external drive to your Mac and macOS will manage backups automatically. How to use Time Machine Backup? To access Time Machine, click on the Time Machine icon in the menu bar or go to System Preferences, Time Machine or find Time Machine app in your applications. From there, you can enter Time Machine mode and browse your backups using the arrow keys on the timeline on the right hand side of the screen. To restore a file or folder, select it from the backup and click Restore button. For example, some time ago I had an important file on my desktop. I deleted it and I emptied my trash bin, so the file is gone. But thanks to the time machine, I can travel in time and go back to my desktop like how it was 2 hours ago and find my deleted document. Check it out. First, I have to open time machine. Once I enter in my time machine, using the arrows on the timeline, I can see how my desktop looked in the past and I can browse all files I previously had on my desktop. How cool is that? So from here, I can easily find my deleted super important file and restore it to my current desktop. You can use the Time Machine feature to transfer your data to a new Mac, so you'll find the same environment you had on your old Mac on your new computer. Time Machine Backup Tips 
Time Machine will automatically back up your data every hour, but you can change the frequency by going to System Preferences, Time Machine and adjusting the settings. If your backup disk becomes full, Time Machine will automatically delete older backups to make room for new ones. However, it's a good idea to regularly check your backup disk and make sure you have enough space. Time Machine can also backup to a network drive or time capsule, but this requires additional setup. It's a good idea to keep your backup disk in a safe place, such as a fireproof safe or off-site storage, to protect it from theft or damage. That's it, with Time Machine you can rest easy knowing that your data is backed up and easily recoverable in case of data loss or corruption. How to choose your external drive for Time Machine? Here are some guidelines to help you choose the best drive for Time Machine backup. Capacity. Choose a drive with a capacity that is at least twice the size of your Mac's hard drive. This will give you plenty of room for multiple backups and file versions. The more capacity you have, the more you will be able to travel in time and find old files. Speed. Look for a drive that has a fast transfer rate to ensure that your backups complete quickly. A USB 3.0 or Thunderbolt drive is recommended for optimal performance. Reliability. Choose a drive from a reputable brand with good reviews and solid warranty. A reliable drive will ensure that your backups are always available when you need them. Type of drive. For the best performance, choose an external hard drive that uses a solid state drive instead of a traditional spinning hard drive. SSDs are faster and more reliable, but they are also more expensive. For example, I don't use solid state drives for my backups, instead I have four traditional spinning hard drives, I don't need it to be super fast, it works fine for me and I never had any issues. Old school spinning hard drives are very cheap and they allow me to store a lot of data for a relatively low cost. Overall, the best drive for Time Machine backup is one that fits your budget and meets your specific needs. Whether you choose a traditional spinning hard drive or a solid state drive, make sure to regularly check your backup and ensure that it is functioning properly. So as I explained at the beginning of this video, I have a special system that I developed throughout the years of Time Machine usage. I use it to make sure that all my files and system are always recoverable no matter what will happen to my Mac. So I have four hard drives, each of them has a 5TB storage size, which allows me to keep quite a long history of my files and systems. With this setup, I can travel in time like for months or even years and find my old files and documents. So in total, I have four copies of my backups history on four separate hard drives. The chances that four of them will fail at the same time are relatively low, so I will have at least one functioning hard drive that will allow me to fully restore my files and system. I decided to purchase cheap spinning hard drives, the average cost of one piece is around $50, so it's very affordable. Also, all of them are different models and different brands. You never know which one is better and which one will fail first, so having different models and different manufacturers adds some extra layer of protection. I never keep all my backup drives in the same location. Imagine my house will burn and I will lose all my time machine backups. I have two backup copies at my home and two of them at my office, so I always have a backup copy somewhere in different locations. I don't use iCloud for several reasons. First of all, the cloud doesn't exist. It's always someone's computer. I always prefer to have physical copies of my data in case I will need them and I will not have an internet connection. I know that my data is stored on my hard drives and I can restore it on my computer. The second reason is the price. The iCloud storage is paid. It's really cheaper to use an external drive to store your backups. Using Time Machine is really important if you want to protect your data from SSD corruption or data loss. Setting up Time Machine is really easy and every MacBook user should absolutely use this feature. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.